Good morning everyone, it is a Monday and I have a little vlog I'm going to do today because I'm actually leaving the house. I'm going to Peterborough to see Millie who I haven't seen in a little while and we're going to discuss A Certain Hunger because we both read that recently and loved it. I'm going to do some book shopping, we're going to get coffee and I haven't deliberately done that in a while. If I've been in the bookshop in the last couple of months it's to study or it's because I've had a meltdown and I've needed to wander in to just stare at some books for a little while. So it'll be nice to take a slower day and see what's out at the moment. I've been a bit out of the loop while I've been at university, so it'll be nice to see what new titles there are. I'm gonna try and restrict myself um, to maybe just looking and just adding some to my possible buy list in the future because I have so many books, it's a little overwhelming but we'll, we'll have to see. Okay, before I go, a parcel just came in the mail, so I wanted to show you what it was. This was a complete surprise. I didn't know this was coming, so. It's from Pam McMillan, and it is When Haru Was Here, which I'm pretty certain is the same author as You've Reached Sam. Um, it looks sad just from the cover. It looks, it looks like the other one was sad, so I assume it'll be. And also they've included, they've quite literally included a little packet of tissues saying tears guaranteed so they've included some cherry blossom seeds which is so cute and also this mysterious envelope that says open on page 270 so I'm not gonna spoil it and tell you all what's in there but that's very exciting we are here in Cafe Nero Millie has just uh, got the train to a horrible rainy Peterborough. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not that nice. It was sunny when we got here, but uh, we're just having our pistachio oat lattes, which are amazing, really, really good. And Millie's telling me all about her Rome trip because I went to Rome last year, and Millie went. About a month ago? A couple of weeks ago. So we're just talking about all the cute things and pasta that you can have in Rome. I forgot that Millie got me this from TK Maxx absolutely ages ago. And it's so pretty for my persuasion collection. It's a little Wordsworth paperback. And she's also returned to me my beloved, my funny story. <laughs> and in return, I went to the launch for Jenny's paperback the other day, and so I got Millie the new paperback of OK Days, because I loved it so much. You haven't read it, have you? No. No. But now she's got the paperback. She can. And then we can discuss, because that's, these two are two of my favorite romances that I read last year. Very highly recommend both of them. We are in WH Smith, which Millie has just told me was turned into a clearance store. So all the books are 50% off if you're planning a trip to Peterborough. This is where you want to be. <gasps> Wait, yeah, Bright Young Women's on my list actually. Okay, yeah, if you want crime and thriller, definitely have a look in here. I feel like that one should be maybe less than 50%. <laughs> Uh-huh, I think I might. And then we can read it together. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Jenny Mustard said that I should read it because it's one of her favorite authors and it's a trilogy. And Lincoln Waterstones only had the other two. So I definitely, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy it. Yeah. I've almost bought that so many times when I've been in the Waterstones. I feel like I always see, it's always the one that like catches my eye. Yeah. It's cause it reminds me of the Starless Sea. And says about stardust. <gasps> Pretty stencils. Are there books? Oh, A Study in Drowning. That's Ava Reed, isn't it? So nice. I actually prefer the kids' cloth bounds to the adult cloth bounds. So cute. I don't know what kids are eating. David Copperfield, though. <laughs> I'm worried about this. Is sometimes I don't get along really with translated fiction. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit worried because it is so big that I don't think I, if I don't like it at the beginning. It is big. How many pages? 400? 450. It's a commitment. It is. We could read it in parts. Yeah. In some sections. I've just discovered how different mine and Millie's book collecting is because even though we both love book shopping, I have maybe 
150 unread books and Millie has read all her books bar one because she finishes a book and that doesn't buy any more and then only buys when she's finished because she's a different different breed of person. Well, I don't really order online that much. Yeah. So it's only if I come in store. That's true. We did make some purchases. We both got butter yeah. because we've wanted it for such a long time and we enjoyed a certain hunger and it's similar food but also creepy serial killers. Yeah. I got uh, Rachel Cusk's book outline because I want to start the trilogy and we both got cute little matching bookmarks as well. So, successful trip. Now onto the works because we need even more books. <laughs> okay, so I read this a few years ago, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and Millie has just finished it, and is the first person I know to also feel slightly underwhelmed. Yeah. Just, like, it, I don't know. It's not not good, but you were saying you wanted more after. I wanted more, uh, yeah, I don't, they cut off right as like she was told like the big plot, mm -hmm. and I feel like I wanted like more story yeah. of that. And, like, the I hope that the film adaptation so it's more backstory to be honest Maybe. which is apparently still in the works but oh, in the works we're in the works <laughs> it's meant to be really good and the cover's so cute look at those edges so fun we're currently in a little cafe in Peterborough that's been open for a little while but we haven't been before it's either called bear or B R like B E underscore, not underscore line A R. It's very it's cute. It's yeah. very cute. We've got we've got iced chocolate and a peach iced tea, and we're gonna read we're gonna read a little bit of butter together just because we've never actually read a book at, like in the same place at the same no. time. We've only ever like read in sections and then discussed it. So we're gonna actually do some reading. Um, but very much recommend this place. It's so cute. We have the whole of this little basement to ourselves. It's very cozy down here. So we've read the first 10 pages of Butter. Uh, Millie understood it a lot better than me. I completely thought that the character, the journalist, was the serial killer that is going to be talked about in the rest of the book and Millie has corrected me and said no it's not. So now it makes more sense, yeah. the bit that I read. Because I was thinking she doesn't seem like a serial killer, but that's because she's not. Uh, but I like the writing style. We were saying that the food descriptions are going to make us hungry yeah. because they're already so good. That's what we liked about A Certain Hunger. Not the gory bits as much, but like the general descriptions of cooking and food and culinary places was, was really nice. So we're, we're very excited. Millie's never had matcha before. I said to try it with the vanilla syrup. Okay, I'm gonna try We're it. gonna see. I don't hate it, but I got like a lump of something. Oh no! So I think I just need to give it a good start. Yeah. But, oh, I liked it though. Okay, okay, good. I've gone for a lychee ice thing and it is so good. I love that Peterborough has a black sheep coffee now because it is one of my favourite places to get drinks. The final verdict of the match was that Millie didn't actually like it, so she's finishing my drink instead. But um, we're going to go home. Millie's taking the train and I'm going on the bus so we can read yes. on the way back. And then remember to check in because we are planning a little Oxford bath book shopping trip soon. So we're going to go to, Millie's going to show me around Oxford and then we're going to do a little day trip to Bath so we can look at all the cute bookshops and if you like just watching us go book shopping and drinking drinks that's basically <laughs> what we'll be doing so look out for that but yes, goodbye from us!